Hi, and welcome to the LDV Podcast. My name is David Maldo, and I've been covering video collaboration and team productivity for a long time now. So when BlueJeans Network came to me to give me a sneak peek at their new smart meetings, it really clicked with me. So I'm particularly excited to tell you about this. I'm going to keep it short. I'm just going to give you a, a minute to tell you what it is, a minute to tell you why I'm particularly so excited about it, and a few minutes to explain how it works. The way I see the new smart meetings, it's basically the future of note-taking in meetings. Not only do these new features eliminate the need for traditional note-taking, I think they actually improve upon them. If something important happens during a meeting, I think this is a better way to save that information and share it than traditional note traditional note-taking. Smart meetings includes the feature of an actual transcription, live transcription of everything said during the meeting as it's taking place as well as a really innovative new feature which allows anyone in the meeting to make a short clip or highlight of a part of the meeting as it's taking place to be shared later. These two features not only do a better job of note taking than traditional writing down notes, but I think they're particularly well designed to, to mesh with the workflow, the way people share information today, the way people share videos and share transcripts. I think this is going to meld with the way people like to work today. Now, before I explain how it works, let me just take a minute to explain why I'm so excited about it. I think this reflects a larger trend in video collaboration. As an analyst, it, traditionally I had two roles. One of my role was to give a message from the vendors to the users of video conferencing to say, hey, if you use this stuff, you'll be more productive. And it was true, but people didn't want to use it. And so the second message was telling the vendors from the users, hey, this is what we don't like about video conferencing and why we don't use it. So my role has had to change because we fixed those problems. People who use video conferencing see the value. You don't have to force them to use it. They're asking for it. And the vendors have fixed that checklist of everything that was wrong with video that made us not like it. Being too expensive, being too complicated, using too much bandwidth, not being reliable. It's easy now, it works, and it's affordable. So what is my role now? Well, my role is to try to help people understand how to use video to help their team productivity. We know video works, so what should we be doing with it? How can we use this to make our meetings better? How can we use this to make our teams get their deliverables done faster? That's what it's really all about, team productivity, which in my mind leads to team happiness, because when you get things done, you feel good about yourself. So if companies like BlueJeans are thinking beyond the outside of the box of, hey, use our video because it's high quality, and starting to think of, wow, how can we use this integrated into meetings to help our people be more productive? That's ex Sign me up. That's what I'm looking for. I also like smart meetings because it recognizes that meetings themselves have changed. Meetings have value. We used to say that meetings are where work goes to die, right? I wish this meeting was over so I can get back to my office and do some actual work. Well, we've changed the way we meet, partially because of the value of video. Instead of being on the phone with people, when you're face-to-face, -face, you can get work done. So we don't really have as many meetings, and we're having a lot more working sessions. Working sessions, all the things we hated about meetings do not apply to working sessions. In working sessions, we get things done a lot faster than if we're doing them alone. The whole one plus one equals three teamwork thing, that applies to our meetings now. And with companies like BlueJeans are understanding that and supporting meetings and making meetings better, meetings will stop being a dirty word. And my final point before I explain how it works, if these are actual working sessions, everyone attending should be able to work. Now, before I was a video conferencing analyst, I had a regular office job, and our team had a weekly meeting where we'd go over everything that we're working on, and one person every week was the designated note taker. And when I was a designated note taker, I was too busy taking notes. I wanted to capture everything, the action items, make sure this person knows to do this, make sure this person follows up on that. I wasn't participating. It was almost like I wasn't part of the meeting. And every week, one person had to take that role. We don't want anyone to have to take that role. We don't want anyone to have to be the note taker. So Smart Meetings does that for us. Now let me explain how it works. OK, so what you're seeing behind me is a desktop recording of a typical BlueJeans meeting with my team. I recorded it from the desktop so you could see the menu, so you could see what I'm doing here. And as you can see on the right, I have the menu open, and I'm about to click the Start Meeting Assist button. And when I do, you can see above me here, this little star po uh, pops up. And at the top, the recording starts going. So the meeting is being recorded, and the smart meeting features are now activated. So the next thing I tried is clicking the magic star button to create a highlight. And that's it. I just click it. And at the top, it says that I've added the highlight. And then I'm able to go back to the panel and click on highlights. 
And there's a little summary of the highlight, a transcription of, of what I was saying when I clicked it, as well as a few options, including the ability to delete it, to add a comment in which I can tag someone so they'll see it later, or even add a label to it or give it a thumbs up. Very social media friendly, very the way we like to do things now. Now, one thing I was pleasantly surprised by, I was using my BlueJeans account for this, but I just sent my teammates invites and they just logged in as if they were guests. They didn't use their accounts. They weren't logged in. I didn't think they'd be able to use any of these features. And while on the WebRTC client, they weren't able to actually start the smart meetings, they are able to use the features right here. Anna clicks her magic star button and creates a highlight as I'm talking. And there it is. It just pops up and I can, um, I can like it. I can put a label on it. I can delete it. I can do all those things. So anyone in the meeting can see the tra transcript. Anyone in the meeting can see the highlights. Any, anyone in the meeting can use these features, even if you are the only one with an actual account. That's pretty cool. And you can see us using some of the other features here. Uh, right now I'm adding a comment. So when someone looks at the highlight later, they'll have a little extra context. I could say, hey, this is something I wanted you to see. And if you tag someone in it and they have an account, they'll get a notification about it. You could also see that as I'm writing in my comment, Anna is flagging her highlight to give it a, a label. It's an action item. That's great. So when you see these highlights, you'll know which ones are just for information and which ones you need to do something with. All of this really just is the next level of note taking in a meeting. So I think you get a sense of how it works from the in-meeting perspective. It's really pretty simple. You just click start and your transcript shows up. And if something happens that you want to remember, you click the magic star button. And by the way, it clips 20 seconds before and 20 seconds after to kind of give you context. Really nice. So let's take a look at what happens after the meeting. How do you get this information? So now I just went online and logged into my BlueJeans account and clicked the hub a menu item and you can see here's all my recent meetings and each one has a view all highlights. Let me just move over to this side so you can see a little better. And if you click it, here's each highlight with the notes. I tagged myself to watch this later. Uh, Anna made this an action item with the flag and here's some highlights without any notes. And I can click to go and watch any of these highlights or actually to watch the whole thing. And this is what this looks like. This is really cool. You could see each highlight is marked the 20 seconds before the 20 seconds after, but they're part of the entire recording. So if someone links you to the highlight, you're like, wait a minute, I need to hear what happened after that. Just keep watching, just scrub forward or backward like any other video. You could full size it, watch it from any point, watch it from the highlights, and even look at the transcription. You can go through the entire transcription of the meeting which of course updates as you're going through the video. They also have a button to autoplay the highlights. If you just want to watch the highlights, how great is that? An hour long meeting and there's two minutes worth of highlights. Someone sends you the link, you watch the two minutes worth of highlights and you know you didn't miss anything important. You see what I'm saying now about the future of note taking? How much better is this than being emailed someone's handwritten notes? This is really great. So whether you were at the meeting or not, you really have everything you need from this hub here. You can watch the entire meeting. You can scrub through to a particular part. You could look at the highlights. You could see the comments on the highlights. You can even create a new highlight and put comments on that. If you're watching this meeting and say, hey, this was something important. I'm worried this person's going to forget about this. Make a highlight, tag the person, and they will see it. Or you could simply share it with them. I also want to add one comment about the sharing. They made this so easy to share. It really is just the way we do things with, with video. You can download and do what you want with it or click a simple share button, share it with a specific person by email, or get a link, which you could just share with anyone. One last thought and comment on, on this entire smart meetings concept. Usually when I see something that hasn't been done in enterprise before, and I've never seen anything quite like this in business video, it's a bit risky. Will people share video this way? Will they make clips? Will they use the transcript? Is this, is this the kind of thing that people will actually do? And this is really a win-win for BlueJeans because while it is new for business, this workflow is very familiar to a lot of people who use any kind of streaming platforms. Whether you follow video game streamers or music streamers or video podcasts or whatever, a lot of streaming platforms, commercial streaming platforms, not business applications, have similar functionality. People who are used to video, people who are used to streaming, a lot of them have used these sort of things, have made these sort of clips and shared these sort of clips, and we're used to it. 
This is the way we like to share information now. So the learning curve for a lot of us, there won't be a learning curve. We'll say, oh, this is something I like, and now it's in blue jeans. Now I can use it in business meetings. Now I can replace my note taking instead of just being for my hobby. This is great. So it's new without being new, which I'm just very excited to see how quickly people pick up on this. I don't think this is going to be one of those features that we put in and then sort of hope people use. People are going to use this one. This is a big one. So I'm pretty excited about it. So I just want to thank BlueJeans for giving us this sneak peek. My team was really excited. When I told them we had to do this video, they said, OK. And then halfway through, they were like, this is actually really cool. Good for BlueJeans. We have to use a lot of video conferencing solutions to test everything here at LDV. But my team has hinted to me that we're going to be doing a lot of BlueJeans meetings in the future because they really like this way of taking notes. We always have action items after meetings. And this is the way, this is the way to make sure they get done. So thank you, Blue Jeans. And if anyone has any questions, you could find out more at bluejeans.com. And you can see more content like this at letsdovideo.com. Thanks so much.